what is up guys it's me red and i'm back with a brand new video in this video we're going to be taking a look at something really really exciting now you've already read the title and uh, you already know what we're looking at so we're uh, taking a look at pokemon emerald today this is uh this is a game i've wanted to take a look at for uh quite some time now and uh through the magic of facebook marketplace and a wonderful seller uh i have been able to procure myself a copy so without further ado let's uh go ahead and give this baby a clean give it a little test and uh see if it works all right my weapon of choice for cleaning this cartridge is going to be 91 percent isopropyl alcohol i'm just gonna cut in here really quick to let you know one thing give you a little pro tip here uh 91 percent isopropyl alcohol is completely fine to use on your electronics but it's actually a better idea to use 99% isopropyl alcohol, so if you can find that, you'll be better off. All this percentage on the bottle means is how much isopropyl alcohol is there to water. They do, in fact, dilute this stuff with water. So, uh, basically, don't go any lower than about 91%, otherwise you're just dumping more water onto your electronics and I think at least in my personal opinion dumping water onto your electronics is not a good idea so just remember in the world of electronics more alcohol means less problems this stuff takes care of just about everything I need when cleaning a cartridge next I use q-tips these are really handy for cleaning around labels scrubbing pins and cleaning the circuit board I also have two different screwdriver kits these are the Hyper Tough 17 and 77 piece kits. I would recommend picking up the 77 piece kit as it has the correct size tri wing screwdriver head, which is the Y00. Okay, let's open the cartridge and take a look at the pins and circuit board to see what needs cleaning. We do this by removing the tri-wing screw from the back of the cartridge. Then we'll slide the front plate of the cartridge off to access the circuit board. Upon inspection, there's actually not a lot that needs to be done. This was taken care of extremely well. As for the cartridge, I took the side without the label up to my sink and washed it under warm water with a little bit of Dawn dish soap. After a few minutes of gentle washing, it came perfectly clean. Then I started in on the front of the cartridge. I used a q-tip and the isopropyl alcohol to clean the inside and outside of the plastic. Both pieces weren't very dirty, so it went pretty fast. Next up, the circuit board. Outside of a little bit of dust and the tiniest bit of corrosion on the pins, this circuit board was in beautiful condition. Okay, now, time for the best part of this video. Putting it back together, and testing it. Okay. Let's uh, turn it on. Oop. Oh man. This is, I don't think you guys, I, I'm just smiling ear to ear at this point. I am so freaking excited for this. Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh my goodness. Pokemon Emerald. How awesome is that? That is a very common thing to see right here. The internal battery has run dry. Game can be played. However, clock-based events will no longer occur. All right. So, we can see here that the original player file is Kaylee. Time, 40 minutes. Pokédex, 6 badges, 0. 
So let's go ahead and just see really quick on this file. Explore a little bit, you know. Let's go ahead and check and see what kind of Pokemon we got here. Let's see, so we got a, ah, Ichigo. A Mudkip, Puchiana, Wingull, Lotad, Wurmple, and Zigzagoon. Very good choice on that Zigzagoon and the Mudkip. Very awesome. I uh, love me the pickup ability. I have been farming rare candies in Pokemon Sapphire that way. Um, <laughs> well, that is awesome. The game works fabulously. I am extremely satisfied with, uh, with how this game turned out. Um, and I am excited to get some good use out of this game. This is going to be extremely fun. Well, my friends, that was Pokemon Emerald. I hope you guys had just as much fun watching this video as I had making it. Uh, restoring video games is one of my all-time favorite things to do. And if you guys want to see more of this type of thing, let me know in the comments below. And also, feel free to leave a like as well. Um, and if there's anything that you'd like to see me try and fix up next, let me know in the comments below. And I will do my best to track something down that meets uh, your your desires. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and thank you again to the very kind seller on Facebook who uh, sold me this game. I really appreciate it. You have you have uh, made one little man very happy indeed. So thank you very much. I really do appreciate all of your viewership every single time and uh, that about does it for me. So I hope you all have a pleasant web surfing experience and good day fellow Team Field members and I will see you all in the next video. Bye now.